Jamie. Welcome to Virtual Preschool. I am so glad that you're here with me today. While we wait for all of the friends to log on and join us, let's sing I Like to Make Music with our friend, Miss Nancy. Here's a video of Nancy playing it on the guitar. Will you sing and do the movements and make music with us? Here's Miss Nancy. This is I Like to Make Music from The Seasons. I like to make music. Yes, I do. I like to make music with you. I like to make music. Yes, I do. I like to make music with you. I can clap my hands. Clap, clap. Clap, I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I like to make music. Yes, I do. I like to make music with you. I can pat my knees. Pat, pat, pat. I can pat my knees. Pat, pat, pat. And I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I like to make music, yes I do, I like to make music, with you I can, I can, and I can pat my knees, pat, 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 I can pat my knees, pat, 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 and I can clap my hands. I count to three. Will you say, Betsy, where are you? Can you do that? Okay, here goes. One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? Oh, Betsy has something to show us today. Come on out, Betsy bird. Oh, what is this? A pail? How silly. Let's say hi to the bird to the boys and girls first, and then you can tell us about your pail, okay? Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad you are here today. We're gonna sing hello to you, and then we can ask Betsy why she has a pail. Are you ready? Hello, friends, how are you? Can you sing hello, Betsy? Hello, Betsy, how are you? And can you sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie, how are you? We're so glad to see you. Tap your knees, ready? Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here together. Yay! Betsy, you brought something to show everyone today. What is this? It looks like a bucket. It's a pail. Can you say that? Pail. And what are you gonna put in this pail? water. You're going to have a pail full of water? Yes. We're going to learn a new nursery rhyme today with a pail full of water. So Betsy wanted to show you that she has a pail for her water. I'm going to lay pail for her water. I'm going to lay Betsy down right here and then we can learn a new nursery rhyme together. All week long we've been practicing these silly poems. 
Nursery rhymes are short poems that we can memorize. That means we can remember the words all the same and they have rhyming words in them. And so when we can remember them and say them, our brains are getting smarter and learning to read. In this story, there's a hill. And at the top of the hill is a well. A well is a big, deep hole. And there's a spot where you can dip a bucket down inside the ground. And when you pull it up, it will have water in it. You can get water out of a well. Well, in this story, there are two kids who are going up the hill to get some water out of the well. I'll say it, the nursery rhyme first, and then you can do it again with me. It goes like this. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Which way? Oh no, she fell down too. Let's say it one more time together. Let me get my pieces ready. Okay, can you say it with me? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Good! In this nursery rhyme, sometimes in poems, the person who writes the poem, called the poet, sometimes they use silly words. We've been talking about that all week. In this one, Jack isn't really wearing a crown, right? No, in this one, when the poem says crown, it really just means his head. Isn't that silly how sometimes poets write different words? So instead of breaking his crown, it really means he got bumped on the head. Can you say it again with me? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Good! We've been practicing all week making different silly rhyming poems. And so today, the silly poems that we're going to make are, instead of a pail of water, we're going to pretend that Jack and Jill are putting different things in their pail. So I'm going to show you a picture and then I want to know, can you say the poem with something different other than water? Like this. Do you see this one? This pail is full of lettuce. Let's see if we can say the poem, but instead of pail of water, we're going to say pail of lettuce. Do you think you can say it with me? Let's try it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of lettuce. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Good, that's silly, right? You can't really get lettuce out of a whale, out of a well. <laughs> can't get lettuce out of a whale either. Look at this one. It's apples. Do you think you can say the poem with me? Say it really loud so I can hear you. Instead of pail of water, we're going to say pail of apples. Ready? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of apples. Good job. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Well done. What is in this pail? Pencils. Can you say the poem? And this time we're going to say pail of pencils. That's really silly, right? Okay, let's say it all together. And I want to hear your voice nice and loud so I can hear you in Virginia. Ready? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of 
pencils. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. You're good at this. I have two more. Are you ready for the next one? This one is carrots. Do you see them? This time we're going to say pail of carrots. Here goes. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of carrots. Good. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. It is silly. I agree with you, Morgan. It's very silly. Here's the last one. This is a pail of, can you see them? Pancakes. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I wouldn't put my pancakes in a pail. Do you think you can say it with me? Here goes. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of pancakes. That's silly. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. That's so silly how we could make up new rhymes with different pails. I like the way you're saying that. Your brains are so smart. Well, you might remember that in other virtual circle times that we've done together, we've done the two little blackbirds. Do you remember when we've done this? I think we've done it twice. Do you see my two little blackbirds? It is silly, I agree. And in this little rhyme, their names are Jack and Jill. It reminded me of Jack and Jill in the nursery rhyme. So I thought we could do this one together. If you don't have a bird puppet, you can make your fingers like a little bird or like a big bird or a baby bird. Can you make your fingers go like that, like a beak? And we're gonna say it together. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. This time, let's put them on a twig. That's like a little stick. Ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a twig. One is small, one is big. Fly away, small. Fly away, big. Come back, small. Come back, big. Good. This time, let's say, Two little blackbirds who aren't the same. One is wild. Ah! Can you be wild? Ah! One is tame. Hello, how do you do? Fly away, wild. Ah! Fly away, tame. Goodbye. Come back, wild. Ah! Come back, tame. Hello again. That's silly. And we're going to do one more. This time, we're going to pretend like they're wearing a crown. Ready? Two little blackbirds wearing a crown. One likes to smile. One likes to frown. Can you frown with your face? Make it really sad. Fly away, smile. Fly away, frown. Come back, smile. Come back, frown. Isn't that silly? We can make rhymes with our puppets and pretend to do different silly things. I like the wild one too. Wild is fun. I agree. Do you know that Jack and Jill, their names start with the same letter as my name? Yes, listen. Jack, Jill, Jamie. They all start with the same letter. It's the letter J. We can do the sign language for the letter J. It's kind of a silly one. You have to stick up your baby pinky like this, and then you're going to make it like a J. Whoop! Yes, can you make the sign for the letter J? Stick up your baby pinky and go J, J, J. Good, you do it. And Josie, too. Who else has a name that starts with J? J. Yes. J. That's right. So in this little game, we're going to listen for words that start with the letter 
J, like Jamie, Jack, and Jill, all with the letter J. I'm going to show you a picture, and then you have to tell me if it starts with J or if it doesn't start with J. You say, no. This is the sign for no. And Jacob and Juniper, all of you start with J. And Julia and Jack, I see all of you. And Jared, hi friends with the J's. Okay, so we're gonna play the game. And when I show you the picture and Jake and all of the friends with the J, you're gonna either say J or no. It doesn't start with a J. Can you get your fingers ready to show me? Okay, so here it goes. The first one, if I can put these where I can reach them, is a j, j, jellyfish. Show me with your fingers. Does it start with J or no? Show me. <gasps> Josiah and Jeremiah know. I bet you do. <gasps> Jojo knows. Jean knows. <gasps> yes! J jellyfish starts with J. You knew it. Here comes another one. This is jam. Listen to the first letter. J. Jam. Does it start with J or no? Which one? Show me. <gasps> J. Jam. Jam starts with J. You're right. J. Jam starts with J. Here's another one. This is a w whale. Listen to the very first letter. W whale. Does whale start with J or no? W w. No. Whale starts with w w w. Not J. That's a no. Good. All right, here's one. This boy is j juggling. Juggle. Say the word j j juggle. Does juggle start with j or no? J juggle. J. Jessica knows. Yes, j juggle starts with j. Wow, you're good at this. Here's another one. This is a b baby. Baby. Can you say it? B baby. Does baby start with J or no? B, B, baby. No, it doesn't start with J. It starts with B, baby, and B. Here's a new one. <gasps> Jello. Have you ever had wiggly Jello for dessert? J, Jello. Listen to the first sound. J, Jello. Does Jello start with J or no? J, Jello. I can hear you. Yes, you're right. Jello starts with J. I have a few more. This is a jungle. J jungle. Does jungle start with J or no? Yes, you're right. Jungle starts with J. Ooh, this girl is j jumping. Do you see her jump? Say the word j j jump. James knows. Yep. J jump. Does jump start with J? Yes! J, J, jump starts with J. Look at this. It's a muffin. Muffin. Does muffin start with a J or no? No, it starts with M, the M sound. It does not start with J. We've got three more. Here goes. This is a J, jack-o-lantern. J, J, jack-o-lantern. You might see it in October around Halloween time. J, jack-o-lantern. Does jack-o-lantern start with J? Yes, show me. J, it starts with a J. I think I need to scoot these over. I have so many that start with J. I need to make more space here. J, jack-o-lantern starts with J. Good job. And what about... Jewelry. See the necklace and the ring? That's jewelry. Say the word j jewelry. Does jewelry start with J? J jewelry. Jasmine will know. J jewelry starts with J like Jack and Jill. And the last one is a j jacket. Yes. Does j jacket start with a J? Listen. J j jacket. Does it start with a J like Jack and Jill? Show me. Yes, jacket starts with J. 
Listen to all of the words we found that start with, say, with J. I'll say them and then you echo. Say jellyfish. Good. Jello. Jack o' lantern. Jam. Jungle. Jewelry. Juggle. Jump. Jacket. You found all of those words that start with the letter J. I'm so proud of you. Give your brain a kiss. Wow, brain, you're so smart. I have a very silly book for you today. It's not a J book. It's not about Jack and Jill. But all week long, we've been making these rhyming words. And so today I thought I would read you my favorite rhyming book. It's called Rhyming Dust Bunnies. Have you ever read this book? It is so funny and it has some funny rhymes in it. In this book, the, let me take this down so we can see the book. That might make it better. Whoop, goodbye, J words. Let's see here. Miss Jamie can make a space for it. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go, that's better, right? In this story, there are four dust bunnies. And dust bunnies aren't real animals. A dust bunny is a little ball of dust. You might find it on your floor, like under the bookshelf, or maybe under a corner where you don't get to clean very much. And these dust bunnies all rhyme. Their names are Ned, Ted, and Ed, except for this blue one. He's sort of the troublemaker in the story. His name is Bob. He doesn't rhyme. Let's read to find out what happens to these four rhyming dust bunnies. Do you see them hiding under the table? The little dust bunnies? This is called Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. They love to rhyme. Hey, what rhymes with car? Can you think of any words that rhyme with car? Far, jar, tar, look! That doesn't rhyme. No, it does. No, Bob, look does not rhyme with car. What rhymes with bug? Can you think of any words that rhyme with bug? Rug. Hug, mug, look out! That doesn't rhyme. No, it does not. No, Bob, look out does not rhyme with bug. What rhymes with dog? Hog, log, bog, look out! Here comes a big scary monster with a broom. That doesn't rhyme either. Bob, no. Look out. Here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Does not rhyme with anything, really. Okay then, but run for it. Look how big those words are. He's screaming. Run for it. <gasps> Look, someone's coming to sweep up all the dust bunnies under the table. Ah! Good call, Bob. Look, they hid. They were like, all right, we understand. That was a good call. They like to play the rhyming game. Here goes. Okay, so where were we? What rhymes with cat? Can you think of any words that rhyme with cat? Sat, pat, rat. Vacuum cleaner! Does it rhyme? <laughs> oh no! The dust bunnies got sucked up inside the vacuum cleaner. Um, Bob, what rhymes with how do we get out? Do you see them inside the vacuum cleaner? Here they are peeking. Help! Isn't that silly how the three dust bunnies are always rhyming? Ed, Ned, and Ted. And then Bob, he doesn't rhyme, but he's trying to help them, isn't he? That's one of my favorite rhyming books. 
All right, boys and girls, I have a an activity, a craft idea for you for when preschool is over today. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's see here. We can see my tray. There it is. In the play pack that I sent to your moms and dads, your grown-ups and their printer, there's a page at the end where you can cut out your own crown, just like Jack. Although his was just a pretend crown, right? And what you can do on your crown is color it and decorate it. So you're going to cut out your crown or maybe have your grown-up help you cut out your crown. And you can color it and decorate it. Maybe you have some crayons or markers. Maybe you have some stickers. I have these funny little stickers that look like diamonds. Do you see them? But you could use any kind of sticker that you might have, or you can use colored pencils or paint, whatever you have at your house to decorate your crown. And then there's another piece at the back. Maybe your grown-up can help you cut it, or if you know how to use scissors, you can cut it. And you can glue or tape this piece right here to the back like this and watch you'll be able to make your own crown I would love to see a picture of your crown that you've decorated maybe you could wear it like this and say the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. If you decorate a crown, will you have your grown up take a picture and show me? I would love to see that. You could put J words on the crown. That is a good idea. Well, boys and girls, it's been such a fun week with you learning all of these nursery rhymes, but now it's time for us to get Betsy out to sing a goodbye song. If I count to three, will you say, Betsy, come back? Can you do that? Okay, here goes. One, two, three. Betsy, come back. Come on, Betsy. Hello, boys and girls. I love listening to those silly rhymes with you this week, and we hope you have a wonderful weekend. We will see you again next week. Let's sing a nice goodbye to Betsy. Ready? Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to go stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Do you have anything in your pocket for Betsy? Okay, let me talk to the grown-ups real quick. Grown-ups, they sent you a play pack. It has six fun play ideas for you to use at home to extend the learning with your little one, and it has four printable worksheets so that your preschooler can practice writing their name, they can practice saying the poem and touching the dots. They can practice writing the letter J. And there is also a template on the last page where you can make your own crown just like Jack had on. So that link is up in the video description. Boys and girls, thanks for giving me a minute to talk to the grown-ups. Do you have some birdseed in your pocket? Reach down and low, get a big handful. On the count of three, throw it, and Betsy will try to catch. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, extra bird seed for the weekend. Thank you, boys and girls. Now Betsy's gonna blow you a kiss. See if you can catch it. Catch it. Stick it to your cheek. Put extra glue, since I won't see you till Monday. And give yourself a big hug. From Miss Jamie and Betsy. We are proud of you. Keep up the good work and we'll see you soon. Bye friends.